Let's talk about grading assignments that your students have uploaded in Canvas. I'm Angie and there's several different tools and tips that I want to show you to make your grading so much easier. So I'm here in my Canvas dashboard and you'll notice up here in the right hand corner I've got what I need to do and that includes grading. Now I can enter my grading which is called speed grader here or I can go into my course. I'm going to go ahead and click on this just so you can see what it looks like and you'll see that it takes me right to the speed grading view. Before I get into the grading, let me show you how I've got this set up for student submissions. I'm going to click on my assignment name. That's going to take me right back to my assignment and I can click on edit so I can show you how I've got this set up. Now as I scroll down past the instructions, this happens to be a hypothesis test for my stat students. I've allowed them to um, either type in their answer or they can upload a website URL or a file and I haven't restricted those file types. So you'll see a couple of different things as I am grading. Let me go ahead and click on save and then let's get right back into the grading program. Speed Grader is that grading program. And you'll notice that when you're in Speed Grader, it's gonna look like this. I've got a couple of different panes. This pane over here on the left is the preview of your student's work. The smaller pane over here on the right is your grading pane where you can also leave comments and points. Now you can go ahead and resize this by grabbing the bar in the middle and I'm just going to go ahead and click drag and hold, click hold and drag so I can change the sizes of these two windows. I can also rotate my students work. Sometimes they come in crooked. There are other tools up here that allow me to zoom in and zoom out. Now, now, if you are not seeing the same tools that I've got, it's probably because you've got a little bit of a smaller view of your toolbar. Look for a little scroll bar over here in the right hand edge of your toolbar. You can scroll up and down to get to all of those tools. Now this student just submitted a single file. If there is another file submitted, I would see another file name here and I can click on those to view one or the other. Now over here in the upper left hand corner are a couple of great tools. You can click on this eyeball to hide grades. So as you're grading, and I did this a lot as I was starting out, as I was grading, I would hide the grades. That way, if I made a mistake or decided to go ahead and scale things a little bit differently, I could go back and change the grades and students wouldn't see my first go round. So you could hide those grades and then post them when you're finished. Over here in your grading pane, it does show me when the student submitted. And you'll notice that the student submitted a couple of different times. So I can go back to the student's recent submission by clicking on August 13th. I noticed that it's late and that's fine because I gave my students a couple of extra days. So now I think I'm ready to grade. I want to show you first how to leave some comments and feedback for your students over here in the preview pane. Now again, if your tools look a little bit different, look for this little tiny scroll bar over here in the right edge of that toolbar. My favorite one, because I think it's the easiest, is the free text annotation. Once I've clicked on this, I can go ahead and change the color, I can change the size, but wherever I click, I'm able to give some feedback. So feedback goes here. I can click again in another spot and give them some more feedback. The student will see this when they go back to see their, um, their work. If you want to get rid of the feedback, click on it again and then look for the trash can and go ahead and click on the trash can to get rid of that. Now this is actually a student's work. I strongly suggest as you're practicing to go into student view, upload an assignment just exactly like your student would do and then go back and grade it. I already did that. So I'm gonna scroll down as we're messing around here. I'm gonna scroll down here to test student. When I'm in student view, test student shows up in my grade book and test student, which is me, has the ability to upload um, assignments. Now what I uploaded is probably really, it's just some something a student had sent me and it shows up crooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my rotation tool 
and rotate it. So we've seen already how to put text in. Comments are another really good one. This is a point annotation. I can go ahead and point somewhere and then I can leave comments here. Uh, that's another nice one. You can also, if you're good at drawing and you've got maybe a tablet, you can also use this drawing tool. So I've got this free draw annotation. Another really nice way to leave a comment is with the selection tool. So if I click on the selection tool, I can actually highlight an entire section and then leave a comment for this section. So I can type my feedback here. Lots of great options for leaving feedback on your students' work. Now again, look for the submitted files. You can click to load them into the preview pane. There's also a little download button here. Know that Canvas doesn't recognize every file type. One in particular that really kind of bugs me is the .heic. As of this recording, it doesn't recognize that iPhone photo type. So instead, I've got to download those so that I can view them. So this is your download button here. Over here on the right hand side, we've got some really great feedback tools. I really think this is where Canvas shines in terms of its grading. Now I do have a rubric associated with this assignment and with almost all of my assignments. Take a look in my description for my video on how to create these rubrics. They're a wonderful tool. I'll give you just a quick preview of the rubric for this assignment. I've broken the assignment down into each of the different tasks including partial credit. And this gives me a chance where I can just click through and do partial credit. I hit save and then it gives students that score. Now, if you don't have a rubric or if you wanna override this, you can also just type the score in there for your students. Underneath the score are comments and there are so many great ways to leave comments. You could of course type these comments out. So I always use my student name, student name, you did great, okay, blah, blah, blah. So that's one great way to leave a comment. You can also leave a speech recognition comment, which is a huge time saver. Let me go ahead and click on this and click record. Students, you are doing great with hypothesis testing. Do come see me and we can talk more about how you can improve your work. And then I can hit stop and make any edits that I need to make here. So that's a really nice way to go. Um, another one that students really, really like are these media comments. So if I click on the media comments, let me move this up so you can see the different options. I can start a voice recording or I can do a webcam recording. Let me put it on this webcam here. And then I can start recording. And this gives me a chance. Hi student, you're doing really great. I am looking forward to seeing you during my Zoom office hours so we can talk more about what you're learning. And then I hit finish. Okay, and then I would scroll down and then hit save media. And that goes right into the student's comments. How cool is that? Another one that I use a lot is this file attachment. I use this when I wanna attach the key and that saves me from a lot of unnecessary explanation if I can just say, see the attached key. Another tool that's somewhat new to Canvas's SpeedGrader is this reassign assignment. I use this quite a bit. Once I click on it, it puts it in my students to do so that it comes up again for them to work. I can go ahead and put comments as to what my expectations are. You wanna make sure that your assignment is still open so that students can do the reassignment. Let's also take a look at one of my students who uploaded instead a URL or a link to their work in Google Sheets. So if I scroll up, it is this one here. So this particular student did her work in Google Sheets. Now Canvas does a nice job of giving me this preview, but there's nothing I can do with the preview. If I click on it, the preview becomes instead active and I can move around the preview. But notice that those grading tools are gone. Submitting a link is a little more restrictive in terms of grading comments, but lots of different options. And I again encourage you play around with your test student in student view. Look for my other Canvas tutorials, especially that one on rubrics. You've got this.